And from that time, my life has never been the same. Whatever I try to do, I don't progress. It's a very sincere day. Thank you so much for tuning in one more time in this Blevoy TV uh, production. And uh, I am Timothy Profitable. Now, I want to appreciate you for sticking. Uh, sticking all along. And uh, while we change episodes, we change this, you are still there. I want to appreciate you highly uh, before I do my episode of today. I want to thank you, all of you subscribers, the viewers, the people that have been supporting this channel in one way or another through the changes here and there, here and there. As we continue to do so many things, we believe God is doing better and better behind scenes as we continue and we thank God for that. Now, there is a friend in Kampala, Uganda, sent me one video episode from Prophet Kakande Samuel. Now, I decided that I want to talk about this because he asked me one question. Do you know this man? And this man happened to be a politician. And by being a politician from uh, Zambia, went to Prophet Kakande for a consultation. Now, this thing triggered my mind. So I started asking myself a question. If all politicians or men, men of caliber or men of high offices, like maybe say chief businessmen, would really honor prophets, like uh, many you see in Squan, Emmanuel TV, uh, airing how many great men would come to Prophet TB Joshua for consultation and doing so many things that they do in one place for advice. Maybe they go there for consultation and etc. etc. It is something so encouraging. And the Bible, if you check from the book of Genesis, going along Old Testament, in even the New Testament, when Jesus was still alive, the time of carnation of Jesus Christ, you will realize one thing, that those kings, those judges, the people within the lands could consult the prophets before they do anything. But this generation looks different. Because in this generation, it's the other way around. They want the prophets to go to them. And if the prophets are identified with them, they are very happy. And they say, now we have captured the prophets. And uh, this is one thing that brings concern. Now, even in Kenya, Uganda, and in East Africa, uh, somehow, somehow, I'm seeing this concept coming in and God is using the pastors, the men of God, the apostles, the prophets, to trim and make leadership stand strong. So by that, I want you to hear this honorable member uh, from Zambia uh, getting counsel from Prophet Kakande in Uganda when he visited him for a consultation. Have a good watch. My name is Honorable Zimba Samson. I'm from Zambia. Hmm. My life was just okay all the way back. But in 2003, I dreamt a snake which blocked a way in which I was moving. When I woke up, I think the following day, we had an overnight prayer. In that overnight prayer, when we were praying, there was a very dark spirit, strange spirit, which baptized me. It was very strange. Not only that, the other day again when I slept, that's when now I encountered a very serious issue. In a dream, there was a white snake which started eating my mouth and then later on it entered in my stomach. <sighs> and from that time, my life has never been the same. Whatever I try to do, I don't progress. This is now 20 years. And this is what made me come here. Now, before I came here two weeks ago, I dreamt that you came in a dream. Then when you came in a dream, you were narrating to me. You even mentioned my name. I was very shocked to say, January, ah, this man knows my name. Then you said, there's a problem at your village. There's a certain place where they do tradition. They'll put a lead there. That is why you are experiencing problems. 
Then I said, but how can I come out because things are stuck? Then you just answered me to say, no, I think in April I'll be back. We are going to sort it out. Then I woke up. Then from there I said, I'm taking a journey to go. April is very far. I have to go and find out what is happening in my life. I want to seek a revelation on that. I don't know what is happening. Thank you. And this is Blevoy. We handle your spirituality, economic and social matters. See you in the next episode.